there we have it one beautiful finished insignia super dug be very proud of that and i love all these colors together they primary colors blue red and yellow yeah they're awesome so the next thing to do before we make anything else up is we're going to haha, do my favorite bit super pants where are my super pants Ugh, i'm wearing them <laughs> silly me no for reals though so just try and find the most sparkly side now doug's super pants are going to sit in here so they're not going to sit on the uh very much into the seam allowance because what we're going to do is we're going to turn in uh if i just move it up a bit we're going to turn under one centimeter of this all the way around okay and that might sound very scary it is probably very scary but i'm going to show you a little tip so if I can find my pattern piece, which I've got here, and my paper scissors, you're going to love this. Stretch fabric, you can't iron it, it won't stay. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a leaf out of a very civilised and ancient embroidery culture called uh, English paper piecing, which basically involved having a piece of paper and wrapping the fabric around the paper and stitching it in place. So what I suggest you do is remove a centimetre from the knickers pattern all the way around. You don't have to guess it, you can mark it out. I'm guessing it. You should know by now I fly by the seam of my super pants. Uh, right, so we're going to take that off there. You do it by folding in half if it's easier. But what we're trying to do is give ourselves a guide. Now, turning the super pants to the wrong size side, let's get rid of that. If you pop that pattern piece back on, you'll see how much smaller it is. We don't need to worry about the sides and we don't need to worry about the waist. But what we are going to do is grab yourself a needle and thread. It can be any colour. Okay, we're good. just going to pop a pin in here to hold it in place. You can actually prick stick the back. Other glue sticks are available. You can prick stick the back and you'll be fine. But what we're going to do is starting at the crutch, we're going to fold that over the paper. Yes, over the paper. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sew through the paper and do a series of basting stitches. To hold the pants in place. So when you get to a corner, it's quite fiddly doing this on camera, but when you get to a corner, all you want to do is fold the material over to give you a nice shape. Okay. And then stitch again in the corner and we're going to go all the way around those pants doing exactly the same thing it doesn't matter what thread you use it's coming out afterwards but what this will do and you can see it starting to take shape is it's really defined the edges of this piece of the pattern and you can see if we went all the way around, you would actually have a really neat pant shape. So what we do then is once you've gone all the way around, we're going to lay it on our super suit. We're going to get it into position. My needle is still hanging out. Yours won't be. We're going to get it into position. And as you can see, what's happened now is it's given you a guide to machine to. So you're actually going to machine through all of the layers, including the paper. And then after it's sewn, we simply remove the basting stitches, which is why it's good if they're in a contrast color, and we rip the paper away. And we should have an extremely neat line around the edge of our pants. There we go then, I have basted all around my super pants. Let's cut that off there. Now, I've got quite big stitches in a contrast colour. What we're going to do now then is we're going to pin the super pants and the paper 
on here. Put a couple of holding pins in. Jersey pins would be great, or clips if you've got them. Through the paper as well. Now what we're going to do is we are going to sew close to the edge, okay, through the paper as well, but not through our basting stitches. Here we are then. Do you know what? You're going to show these to people that do sewing. They're going to be like, oh my God, you did, you did stretch lycra to stretch lycra and managed to turn in such a beautiful hem. They're going to be like, you're amazing. And you'll be like, Meh. I know. <laughs> and they'll say, well, how on earth did you do it? And you'll say, hmm, just a little trick I picked up from when I was mucking about with dollies. So now what we're going to do is get your seam ripper. Take out these purple basting stitches very delicately. I can't see what I'm doing. Let's see if I can bring it a bit closer. Now I always use the back of my point because I don't want to... Um, snag the lycra which is actually quite easily done we need some good light for this if it gets too straggly and you can't pull it through then as long as you make sure you've only got the, the basting threads you can pull them through but already you can see that that's awesome i'll just take my last few out It is a bit tricky. You can see how it would be trickier if you'd actually sewn over them. You don't want to do that at all. If you can help it. If you can't help it, I won't tell anybody. And Doug won't know either. So just pulling all of those out now, whichever way you can. I have gone over mine there and I can see a little red thread anyway you get the idea they will all come out uh, tweezers are a good bet if you've got some of those you can have a go with some tweezers mine's got actually caught under the under the stitching there so I'm going to come back at a quieter time I'm sure you'd love, as much as you love me, I'm sure you'd love to watch me pick out basting stitches for an hour. Oh, well, okay, there we go, enough said. Now, what about the paper? Just very gently, because it's made a series of holes, I don't know if you can see that, it's perforated the paper. So you should be able to just... Put it away. Hey, hey, hey. How good is that? That is really, really, really neat. And all that's happened is there's a tiniest, tiniest little bit of paper in there. Right, so the next stage then is to bling this up a bit. We've got our yellow ribbon, which we're going to sew half on and half off of the super pants. You can just see the colour difference between where they're going. I think that might be a bit high, so I'm actually going to come down a bit on mine. So you're going to sew the top and the bottom, and then when that's done, you're going to get your bit of gold bling, a bit of sequin braid, and pop that on the middle there. And he's going to look mighty cute. I wouldn't mind him rescuing me, actually. That'd be fine. So that's how we're going to do the decoration on there. And then we're ready to assemble the body, which is the mega exciting part. Okay, so we're going to do that and I'll see you in a bit. 